Hi there, everybody. Bold and Cutis here. And today we're going to answer age long question. And that's comp versus poorly barrel. So I got my 365 SAS with an Icarus Precision uh, grip module thanks to uh, 1776. And I have my 365 Spectre Comp uh, with the, they call it a comp. I'm, I'm still kind of out whether it's a comp or not. Uh, so let's compare it. The SS has uh, two little ports and you can see the holes in a, in, a, in a barrel. I don't know if you can see them, but let's take the barrel out. So this is a ported barrel. The Spectre Comp barrel ends right here, and this is supposed to be working as a comp. One thing that it sure works as a is a lead depository when you shoot lead bullets. <laughs> uh, Penny has to clean. So let's uh, take a few shots with each slide, and uh, we got some slow mo. We'll throw in the slow mo in it and I'll tell you what I think. If you watch my video before on 365 XL uh, uh, Spectre Comp, you know that, in my opinion, that, that comp is not really comp. It, it, I mean, they say up to 30% uh, uh, muzzle rise reduction or recoil reduction, whatever they call it. I have no idea where they come up with that now, but I mean, it's definitely a cool gun, but I don't know why my dad is so low. Oh, there we go. We had a bad primer. Empty Mac. Let's uh, switch the slides. And we have a fresh magazine. Now, this also, since it has a shorter slide, there's a little bit less of a weight, plus uh, the optics, so the overall weight of the slide is probably a little less than. Uh, uh, SAS, the uh, Spectre Comp, but uh, let's try it. The bad primer again. I'm shooting these uh, reloads. I got these Argentina primers, and uh, so far I'd say about 10% of them. I had the issue like that, but then again, if I put them in a hammer fight gun, no problem. So for the price, I'll take it. All right. Now we're gonna go one step further. I noticed that this has a slide cut on the side as well. So what I want to do, I'm going to take out the ported barrel from SAS, put it in a Spectre Comp because they're essentially the same barrel. I guess I can't do that. I really don't see why. All right, so I'm guessing the barrels are not 
100% the same because look this one locks up no problem and uh, you can see the the front look different the way it's shaped and if I put this one in it it doesn't lock up and because of that I can't put a recoil spring It'll work in SAS. All right, so I was gonna try that and uh, show you guys. Maybe we can have a comp and a ported battle, but I guess not. But that kind of gives me uh, an idea. Maybe I'll bring this battle to my, my gunsmith and have him port it just for the hell of it. Uh, so, <coughs> what do I think? Uh, the recoil and muzzle rise on these two guns, I would say, is virtually the same. I really didn't see uh, this one being better or this one being better. Uh, all right, so what's the verdict? Uh, there is not no word, verdict. There's, uh, like I said before, there's no. Uh, th this comp is, is nothing but a gimmick. I mean, nice try, sick, uh, but it really doesn't do that much. However, considering that this only has a ported barrel and it feels almost exactly the same, I think if SIG would have utilized the comp and the ported barrel on top of it, that actually might uh, do like a 30% reduction in whatever the hell. Now, these ports are off to the side a little bit, but you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go that, that route. I'm going to go call my gunsmith. See if he can uh, uh, port this barrel. If not, we'll figure something else out. I still have my my old 365. Maybe we'll just take the old 365. I'll have somebody mill something like this, and then port the barrel and see how it do, how it does. Uh, so there you have it. If you like this kind of video, please like, share, and subscribe. And as always, have fun and keep shooting.